was packing up in my soon-to-be old room since my brother Max and I were leaving home to America because we were potato famine where people were dying. To, so I am packing food and plates and cups for Max and I and so we can eat on it. I also packed books and toys to entertain us on the long journey. Then I packed dictionaries to learn English so I don't talk Irish and so people can understand Max and I. Luckily, we are leaving during the second wave of the immigrants, so there are steamboats. It was a long month of a walk to the steamboat. The reason we didn't ride a train because it costs money to ride it and the steamboat costs a lot itself. When we got there, my back was sore and sunburned, and my legs ached. When we got when we were leaving on the boat, and we were put in the steerage, then put in, got put in a dinky, smelly, gross room, and had little cuts to sleep in, and it was cold, extremely cold. Many people had diseases and infections, and we could get sick and we felt mostly unsafe. The food we got was like eating raw meat and it almost made me throw up, but luckily I did. We also got some stale bread, but it wasn't as bad as the other People also got sick and died in front of us and got thrown over the head. We had tiny amounts of toilets and Max and I had wished we had bought a more expensive ticket to get better things, but we didn't have the money. It was a rocky, freezing night, and Max whispered, I'm really cold. Do we have anything to keep us warm? No, Max, I responded. We just have our clothes to keep us warm. It was morning, but cloudy and chilly, and waves were hitting the boat wild. There was also thunder, which scared us because there was probably a storm, and our boat may sink or catch up. What's going to happen, Max? I don't really know, I said. And I saw voice trying to comfort him. We couldn't sleep through that night. We were trying to survive the storm and make it to the We waited if the storm got We waited the storm out and heard some, someone yell. Man, he felt the boat trip like it had gone. I almost fell in that street. We finished with our journey. We have made it. Not yet. We still have to pass the inspection process. Then we can start our new lives. I yelled back. We got to the inspection process. First they asked us asked easy questions. Then they, they got harder. Next we went to the medical inspection and it was painful. Max cried. It was so painful they had to open our eyelid for a disease that makes us blind and spreads easily and they do not have a cure for it. They checked for everything. Finally, we were passed into America after the days of waiting. What do we do now, Max? Max questions. I do not know, Max. Maybe we should get a home first and a job, Max added. We got a crummy tenement, and it was a normal price, and many people didn't hire us, which was sad. So we did it. So we made our own clothing store and cramped, uh, in our cramped tenement, and we got about $8 a day. Then I got enough money to send Max to school. We know English now from our diction. Then we bought plenty of food for ourselves. And then heard that Max has to work a long day job and has to go to night school to learn about America. Then he got home at 11 o'clock. When we went to bed and woke up and I sent Max to work at the factory and started to put a few Irish decorations, but not too many, so I, I won't be clarified too much Irish and then. I opened the, the store and got money and had a meal and then got home. And we got fired from the factory. He said, 
and I wrote why. What happened? I accidentally spoke Irish then, then and they fired me since I didn't fit in, Max said. Then next day there was yellow paint outside our door and I was terrified but I didn't tell Max I zipped and started picking up everything Irish everything Irish and hit it. And Max asked what I was doing. Then I froze and I couldn't speak. But I had to respond, so what I did. Max, there is yellow paint outside the door. And that means we're too, we are too Irish. We waited and luckily no one came, so we just settled in and no one bothered us. And we were finally happy and safe in our peace.